Hello, this is Wendy Kirkpatrick. I'm here today with my husband and business partner Jim Kirkpatrick with another quick tip recording. This one is entitled, Avoid the Red Pants Phenomenon. I guess, Jim, the first thing I've got to ask you is, what is the red pants phenomenon? Thanks, Wendy. Good question. I was in Melbourne, Australia several months ago and one of the participants down there in our certification program mentioned that there's a wide scale phenomenon going on in Australia that they call the red pants syndrome. And when I asked about that, she basically said that what happens is people go to training, for instance on a pilot program or a small group of people, and they, they learn something new, something that is going to require them to do something differently when they get back on the job. They leave training motivated and excited about doing it, and figuratively what they do is they put on a pair of red pants whereas before they had all been wearing black pants. So they're going to be looking differently, they're going to be behaving differently when they get back on the job. Ah, okay, I've got it. So basically what happens is they go to training to learn something that's probably really important. For example, a big new initiative or maybe something related to innovation. And when they get back to the workplace, they look around and say, huh, I'm a little different from everyone else. That's exactly right, Wendy. And unfortunately what happens is they get back in that environment and they're doing something that most of the others are not doing. They start to get the looks and they start to get challenged about what they're doing. They start to get self-conscious about it and pretty soon they get discouraged. They don't want to be standing out as the oddball so they go into the restrooms and they change from their red pants back into their black pants so they're like everybody else. So it sounds like what you're saying then is even though it was probably really good training people came back really excited and enthusiastic to do something new. It didn't take them long to go back to their old ways, forget all about that training, and in effect, have the training create no measurable difference on the job. And you know, Wendy, the reason for that is that the culture and the environment was not prepared to reinforce what they were doing. There, there weren't the managers saying, great, you are initiating, you are responding in a new way that's helping the business. There wasn't peer-to-peer -peer coaching, there wasn't recognition for doing things differently. In fact, it was an environment that discouraged this innovation. And one of the most common places that this happened is in the world of innovation and creativity where they are expected to, to do something new and innovative and instead they're discouraged. I hear what you're saying, Jim, and this relates so much to what we talk about all the time, that no matter how great the training, what happens when people get back to their regular on-the-job environment is so important. If what was learned in training doesn't seem to be the new way, doesn't seem to be reinforced and supported and present in what's going on, that great training just isn't really going to have any actual value. So what are some practical things that our listeners can do to prevent the red pants phenomenon in their organization? There's two things actually, Wendy that we recommend. One is for organizations and learning teams to honestly appraise how well your on-the-job culture either reinforces or discourages the application of new learnings and new behaviors. And then target key weaknesses for improvement. The second is to meet with your learning team and even key business leaders to review the various types of level three required drivers and select those that will most likely work in your organization Build them, weave them into the process to make sure that you're encouraging people to keep their red pants on rather than taking them off and putting the black pants on. Jim, I really like those two tips because you know what? Those sound like something that any organization could accomplish. Do sort of an appraisal of where you are now. How well are you reinforcing learning after the event? And then make sure when you're actually building your training content, build in those required drivers, have them ready to go. Sound advice. Now, if you enjoyed this quick tip, you can subscribe to our weekly e-newsletter and get a new tip delivered to your inbox every week. Just go to kirkpatrickpartners.com, click on the registration link, and you'll have those sent to you right away. You'll also gain access to our free resources library, which has over 60 free articles, podcasts, white papers, and other resources. Thanks so much for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.